To write the formula for copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, let's split this into two things. First, we'll do the copper 2 sulfate, and then we'll add the pentahydrate. So for copper, if we look on the periodic table, we have an element symbol of Cu. The sulfate, this ATE, we won't find that on the periodic table. You either memorize it, that it's SO4 2 minus, or you look it up on a table if you're allowed. So the sulfate ion, SO4 2 minus, and that 2 minus applies to the whole thing. For copper, because it says this 2 here, we know copper is a transition metal, this will be 2 plus. And we have this metal and these nonmetals, it's an ionic compound, the charges need to balance. So 2 plus, 2 minus, those charges are balanced. So we have copper 2 sulfate. For the pentahydrate here, hydrate, that means like being hydrated, having drank enough water. So that's going to be H2O. Penta means 5. So we're going to put a dot here and write 5 H2O. So this is the formula for copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. If we were to heat this up, we could make the water leave, and then we just have copper 2 sulfate. Sometimes that's called anhydrous copper 2 sulfate because there's no water. But this is the formula for copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.